So I did a thing today. When I bought my van, I had this idea that I'd found on Pinterest about green walls. And I was thinking to myself, you know, a green wall just isn't very practical in a van. exactly drill out the, the rivet but that works but that might be easier pull around that works and then just tear it off with brute strength but being practical wasn't exactly my forte anyway. So I went on to the Van Life Facebook groups and I asked around trying to figure out if anybody else had attempted this before and I got a lot of backlash saying it was a terrible idea because of moisture, because of weight, because of dirt. But honestly, it didn't hold me back. So after working on my van for a good long while, I finally have gotten to a point where I could go ahead and, and give it a shot. I mean, what was there to lose? So I decided to incorporate a little green wall into my door. The process started with me taking the plastic that was on the door off. I tried first to just drill out the rivets, but it turned out that it was just attached with some pretty flimsy clamps, so I was able to rip it off with my bare hand, which was actually a lot easier than trying to drill out the rivets. From there, I used that plastic as a template to be able to trace out onto some very thin plywood an overall shape of the wood that I could use as the backing instead of that ugly plastic. Once I'd cut out the appropriate shape, I sanded it all up to make it look nice and feel nice, and then I also painted it to keep it waterproof it a little bit, but also just because I like this rich green color instead. You can see the door behind me as I'm sanding and there is that white piece of wood that is in the door. And what that is, is an additional support that I attached into the door for the middle set of planters. The top set of planters and the bottom set of planters, I was able to drill those directly into the metal of the door. But the middle set to keep things even was over that large gap. So after insulating, I took a piece of wood, I measured everything out, and then I drilled in that additional support so that I'd have something to attach the middle planters to. You really need to pay attention to this because if you don't have enough support, these could definitely fall or rip out when you're driving around. This is gonna be a bumpy terrain sort of thing, which isn't how planters are usually used, so you have to be aware of that. Once I got the piece cut out and painted, I then marked out where I wanted the screws to go. Um, this is very thin plywood in order to be able to mold with the unique shape of the door without just breaking. And then I used self-tapping screws to drill it down on all sides. It would probably look better if I had some kind of trim like rope or something, but I just left it as is. And so this also holds in the insulation but it just gives you a nice little background to put your green wall. Yeah, you guys look like, you know, it used to look kind of like that, and now it looks like this. So now it was finally time to attach the planters. I got these planters. I ordered them online from the Home Depot. I'm about two hours away from the closest Home Depot, so when I can, I just order stuff online. So these were delivered to me and I decided on three of them. I was lucky, these fit almost perfectly in my door. And uh, as you can see, what I'm doing here is I am marking out where I have that wooden support in the back because otherwise I would be drilling into nothing and this planter would just tear right out. So I was able to mark each point where I needed a screw by holding up the planter and then marking that with a pencil and then I just screwed in the screws and hung it in place and then tightened those down. Something else that I thought was pretty convenient about this location for the plants was not only the sunlight that they could get through the window, but if they were to leak or spill dirt, it would just fall into the stair where the doors close. Uh, but something that you need to be mindful of is that you can actively close your door because this was perfectly set up so that it closes right above the flooring. If I had another planter down one more, it would run into the floor when I would try to close it, so that wouldn't work. Make sure to do all your measurements in advance. 
Then I picked out some plants. Um, I found one plant that I really wanted to plant in here, but it was an outdoor plant and just, it wasn't gonna survive well. But I looked at the Home Depot indoor plant collection and I found some cat friendly ferns, some petonia, uh, some lemon thyme, and some other low light plants that were non-toxic to cats. And then in the bottom three, I planted wheatgrass and some catnip. I don't know how well the lemon thyme and the catnip are going to do, but everything else should do well in this environment. What's best to do is just research online and find what plants are going to do well for where you have them located within your build. I put the lemon thyme in the top tier because I wanted it to get more sunshine since it isn't an indoor plant or a low light plant necessarily. There are special lighting fixtures that you can use to give light to your plants so they get enough light if you're not going to use low light plants. But I didn't want to go as far as that and we're going to just have to wait and see how these plants perform in this environment. Something else that's really important to consider is if your van is just sitting there, it's going to get really hot. So I made sure not to plant any of these until I'd gotten in some reliable climate control. So I've got two Max Air fans, I've got access panels with screens, and I have a diesel heater. So whether it's warm or cold, these plants should be able to stay at a pretty regular temperature, not get too hot and not get frozen out. And that's really important if you're considering putting plants in your van because if it gets too cold, they'll die. If it gets too hot, they'll die. So if you don't have those sorts of measures in place, then living plants might not be the best call for you. All in all, when it was done, I was so happy. I just love all the plants. I can't wait for the wheatgrass and everything to grow and I'm super excited for it to all fill out and become the true like green wall that I dream of it being.